you talk about rogues, and I, I mean, I used to be afraid of rogues. Yeah. Now I am not. I feel like things have changed in classic. Has anyone else felt that? Absolutely, yeah. dude. It's like it's like sometimes they can't even get through your shield. You know what I mean? You pop a shield on, they'll sap, wait for it to go through, and then you know you can pop another shield on. If they open up with your shield on, you know, you, and that's the thing is right now no one has PvP trinkets, right? So if you fear someone, they're getting feared unless they're undead. Like you can kill them sometimes before they come back to you from that fear. So um, I think they will become a little bit more scary once they have more access to get out of fears and things like that, so. Would they arguably be the class that, we talk about how much we've learnt about, you know, vanilla or classic over the years and everyone's theory crafted everything to death, everyone's learned their tactics. Would rogues have uh, gotten the least benefit out of the community at large educating themselves on the game? It's uh, a good question. In terms of, um, obviously, yeah. you could you do stun, you lock, you stun locks. Now everyone kind of goes, oh, I'm getting stun locked. I will do this. Yeah, I don't know. There's some really good rogues out there that I know for a fact. Um, you know, yeah, of course your stun lock is your good, you know, I mean, a dagger rogue can be really scary with a lot of burst potential. Um, you know, I think it's it, so much of vanilla PvP is utilizing, thing, utilizing things outside of the norm, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Engineering, you know, different items, trinkets. And uh, anyone who says that you know vanilla or you know, classic PvP is boring, solely mistaken. There's so many aspects you can bring to the table with, uh, and, and and rogues can actually do pretty damn good when they use uh, some of the right equipment. So that's one thing. If you play outside the box, you play a little bit different. Um, you, you learn from some people like uh, you know there's some really great people you can look, you know find on YouTube. I'm mm. blanking out on a name right now, but uh, yeah, I think that's the key to you know to especially for rogues. Yeah. Guys, if we wind up on this one, I'd, I'd like to hear from everyone real quick and then we'll throw it over to some questions. But two months in, I, this is around about the time that publications would give like a review of a game. Mm. How would you summarize in a nutshell your review of World of Warcraft Classic? 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me personally, um, I describe it as endless because like I've been, so I started out playing my priest and I've been playing my priest so I've been having a great time. But I've gotten to the point now where uh, currently in this phase I can't really progress my character that much. And then I decided to make a shaman and that's, it's like a whole totally different game. Yeah. I know, Mel Doron's pat, he's, he plays <laughs> a shaman. Too, brother, but so like, yeah. it's just a totally different game. I'm learning totally different new things about the shaman class. And like now I'm like, man, do I want to drop my priest and just play my shaman now? Because I'm just having so much of a good time. And uh, yeah, endless. That's how I'd review the game so far. That's awesome. It's all about having a yeah. good time. Yeah. yeah. I think we had a little bit of a rough beginning, but I think that, uh, I think, it, it, you know, let, let's just take things into perspective. Most of us in this room are waiting for over a decade for this to come out. Um, and when it did, it was, when, we, when the announcement happened in 2017, and now that the game actually came out, like, it, it's, it's a dream come true. So, you know, we can nitpick and we can say things weren't exactly the way they should be or, you know, why 1.12? Why didn't we go from 1.1? Why didn't we do this? Why didn't we do that? You know, we, we didn't... Re the Classic is not vanilla, right? It exists. It's a different thing. Uh, and as long as we understand that, we, I think we could be fair and basic. We can't compare it to vanilla. Um, so in that aspect, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it like, you know, what, 9.5? I mean, there's, it, it's, it's my favorite game. I don't play any other game. <laughs> it's the only game I play. So uh, it's part of my life, and I think it's great, and I think that it's going to revolutionize gaming uh, in, in some yeah. way. Again, yeah. Yeah, yeah to, to touch on that point, I think it's a resounding success. And the reason I believe that is this is something that Blizzard themselves told us wasn't going to happen. And the community spoke up so loud that they made it for us, right? And I think that alone is just a huge success. I think the popularity of it is much higher than even Blizzard anticipated. And for me, that's just a win, definitely. I think um, when I think about the success, it's really, you, you'd say you can't compare it to vanilla. It's so hard not to compare it to vanilla, though. I mean, they have a lot in common, right? <laughs> Uh, so when you think about, I always think back to the vanilla launch and how much downtime we had and how many free days they were giving us back in the day, right? It was down a lot. Uh, and so when you think about 
uh, comparing it, this launch has been really smooth in comparison to 15 years ago. I mean, yeah, layers and queues and all that, but I would much rather have that than servers just be down forever. Um, but me, I'm, I'm thrilled with it. I log in, I do a little bit of leveling, I log out, I'm probably like you, we'll get to 60 one day. Right? We'll <laughs> one day, one yeah, day we'll yeah. get there, mate. I mean, enjoying the journey again, you know? That's what it's all about. So I, I would rate it very highly. Fantastic. Look, everyone, there is a wealth of classic knowledge sitting at this table, not me, these guys. <laughs> so who's got some questions? What do you want to know from us? Okay, if you guys have any questions, make sure that you raise your hands nice and high. We'll start off in the front corner. All right, one of my guys. Here you go. <laughs> this question might be unpopular, so I apologize in advance. Um, obviously, Classic is, you know, has, has been an absolute juggernaut. People have really, really enjoyed it. But at the same time, uh, you know, there are certain things about it that, that we may not like, certain things that, that we would like to help, you know, quality of life sort of things brought into the game. Uh, just want to know for you guys if you could bring one thing from retail of a quality of life change into classic what would that one thing be and why i'm not allowed to say the lfg mod right <laughs> <laughs> we'll throw you that's off not my answer it was just a joke <laughs> Hey, oh, this is a tough one. This isn't is it? a, I, this I, tough is a one, yeah. Tough one. I want to say one thing is like, you know, I I absolutely after playing classic, you know, for on, you know, private servers or whatever on such a long time and then not playing uh, you know, playing retail, coming back to it, you do miss stuff, right? Like, you know, obviously being able to dual spec would be amazing. Yeah. Um, that is one thing that I find myself probably wanting more than anything is dual spec. Um, however, I don't know if I would, to answer your question, that, that would probably be dual spec for me. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think you were saying is like the ramifications. Yeah, the ramifications. We, we don't, want, we don't like, know yeah. the ramifications, yeah. right, but yeah. I don't know, man. That's, that's a really hard question. Um, Jeez. I'm gonna pass for now, because I have to think about it. Yeah. I feel like Hashtag no the answer is obvious, right? It's LFR, we need oh, LFR. God. No, <laughs> but um, serious answer. <laughs> serious, serious answer is uh, it takes so long to mount on a mount. It takes oh. two seconds. <laughs> Why can't it be retail where it takes like 1.5 seconds, you know? <laughs> Why is it when I get in the water, my mount dismounts, you know? Yeah. I, I'll give you my answer. This is a bit of a, a non-event answer, and I'm not trying to be, you know, outlandish by saying this, but it is legitimately nothing. And I'll give you an example of why I say nothing. They gave us something so small in terms of the quality of life improvements, and they said, hey, the mail. Guys, we're finally yeah. gonna let you open all yeah. your mail in one. That was huge. I still open every single piece of mail individually. <laughs> Call me crazy, but that's just how I do it. And, and so everything that we got in vanilla is how I likes it. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm strange that way. I think dual spec is definitely the easy answer. Um, it's hard, hard pressed to find much else, but you know, I would like to not fail when I try to pick an herb. That'd be nice. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that's part of the beauty of Classic is that it's kind of a time capsule from so long ago, and a lot of the kind of you know rough edges and things like that, you can't really have a good reward without risk or you know things that aren't as good. And while that might be not the greatest reason for some of the really you know, clunky things, I think they're important. So, you know, for example, you know, not immediately going to a dungeon, it's important that you run there because there's, yeah. there's a reward just to getting there and there's chances for, you know, dynamic gameplay where you meet up with your group or, you know, maybe you find a Black Lotus on the way yeah. or there's, there's just so much that's missed by immediate satisfaction yeah. with things that I think a lot of that should, should stay. Yeah. I think it's important. That being said, I, I would like to have arenas. Arenas. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Great question, by the way. Yeah, great question. Who's got next? Yeah. Guild Bank was yeah. my Oh, Guild, Guild Bank. Oh, Guild yeah. Bank. Yeah. yeah. Guild Bank. Guild yeah, Bank. Oh, yeah. Okay. Our next question is right here. So as a new player who looks at it and is really interested in looking at all of it, which would be better to jump into classic or jump into retail? Ooh, wow, <laughs> these are really good questions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this first. Um, depends on what kind of game you like to play, yeah. right? Hugely. Um, so, for instance, I've I played retail up until Legion. 
Um, and for me, retail was very much a game that I could log on to and play by myself with not really dealing with anyone else. And, you know, I, I however, did, you know, was part of a guild, but there was a lot of it I could do by myself and kind of get into it without dealing with anyone or actually doing anything that, you know, took me going out of myself. So in Classic, a lot of it is you exploring, finding new things for yourself, asking people, especially as a new player, I feel like you're at a unique point where you can, you know, find this world and, and explore it. Um, if you enjoy that kind of game where you have to work a little bit but get rewarded, I think Classic might be the game for you. I think Retail would be the game for you if you enjoy maybe you know, having more of a set things of, to do every day and, you know, you have your dailies, you have your routine things. And um, I, I think Classic offers a little bit more in terms of replayability for me when it comes to being able to play more different classes and things like that. However, there, uh, there is a little bit more to do on the daily to day, uh, day to day grind in retail. So yeah. that might help. Yeah, a little bit. Also, if graphics are a thing that you're really into, um, <laughs> obviously Classic isn't the prettiest game ever made. I mean, I think it's beautiful, but I, I'm a purist, so I mean, I'm, I'm very biased. But I think that, you know, uh, Retail is a much more up-to-date looking game. I don't know if that, that might be important to you. I don't know. Yeah. Excellent. All right. We have time for a couple more questions, if, we're, if they're quick ones. All right, sir, go ahead. Uh, thanks for having this, by the way, guys. Um, this might be controversial or too early. Uh, would you guys want to see TBC next or for them to build upon Classic? Uh, Classic Plus. So I'm just going to say I'm a huge fan of TBC. Um, I really didn't start raiding hardcore until TBC. Um, my favorite class and combination, it's, it's Holy Priest TBC is just my favorite thing of all time and wow. So absolutely, I am die-hard fan of TBC and want to see it 100%. Actually, I want to poll the audience. So how many people would want to see TBC? Raise your hand. The Burning Crusade. Sorry, The Burning Crusade. <laughs> After Classic. How, would, how many people would want to see something different, like Classic Plus? Wow. All the above. You got both. That's you got both, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm still... I mean, I, yeah. I want to see both. Yeah. I want to see both. So oh, I, both. I personally want The Burning Crusade. Yeah. And uh, I... I won't go into the nitty gritty of, of why that's the case, but I'll, start, I'll say this. If we get anything, if a decision is made to give us something more in the classic franchise, then I think it's a layup that we're getting the Burning Crusade. Yeah. yeah. If we get anything, which is another argument yeah. all on its It own. requires less development. It's, it is pre-made yeah. material, ready to go. They've already told us it is infinitely easier to redo the Burning Crusade than it was to do vanilla. Yeah. It, exactly, because yes. yeah. like yeah. people ask for like, oh, they should do classic, but they should balance it so like balanced druids are more competitive for DPS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called TBC. Like like yeah. like yeah. they've <laughs> already done this like 13 years ago or whatever. Like I feel like it's such a safer option because. You mess one thing up with Classic Plus, and it's not Classic anymore. And all of a sudden, yeah. Enhancement Shamans are now all suddenly the top DPS, and it's just a totally different flavor of the game. I think there are kind of two points that I would make. Um, first, I think one of the formulas we know works, uh, it worked in the private server scene, is al almost like Seasons. So run the server for a while, and then reset it periodically, and mm -hmm. kind of get better and better and better. And so they've been doing that uh, on EverQuest for many years. Uh, they call them progression servers. And you almost kind of think about like seasons in Diablo 3, right? So what if you did something like that? But I do, th and the thing they'll do on the EverQuest side is they'll pick a random expansion from 10 years ago and they'll say, all right, we're gonna put it out for six months, go play it, right? And they'll just kind of work their way through and then they'll start the rotation again over time. So I think there's definitely room for something like that. And maybe if you want to keep your character in that expansion, then they have a spot for you to do that at the end of the season, maybe give you some retail rewards or whatever to get you to use it. So I would do TBC, though, for sure. Some of my best memories. Yeah. And I know he would for arenas. So. <laughs> yeah. Enough said. <laughs> well, excellent, guys. I think that's a great place for us to stop because we are out of time. Um, let's give a big round of applause to our Wild Classic panelists. Thank you guys so much. And of course, thank you to all of you for coming out to Con Before the Storm and attending the World of Podcasts sponsored by Medieval Times and Wowhead because they are awesome. 
So thank you guys very much. Have a wonderful evening. I think Seraphis would like the mic. Thank you guys for coming, by the yeah, way. Thanks for thank being here. Thank you guys. Come say hello. Come yeah. say hello. Hold on. No one go anywhere. You want some free stuff? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to take this all the way back to the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Let's give away some free stuff. All right. That's some um, art prints. Ooh, oh, sweet. Yo. Ooh. Wow. I love art. Well, I mean, I can't throw it all the way back to the East Coast.